It has been the most challenging thing. There are nights I cry myself to sleep, like, what just happened? Parenting is a journey filled with joy, challenges, and self-discovery. Even for someone like Kim Kardashian, who seems to have it all, the road to motherhood has not been without its difficulties. In a recent appearance on the podcast, On Purpose, Kim opens up about her experiences as a single mom and the struggle she faces raising her children. Kim Kardashian's separation from her ex-husband, Kanye West, occurred in early 2021. The couple had been married for nearly seven years before deciding to go their separate ways. As a result of their separation, Kim Kardashian took the role of a single mom, responsible for the day-to-day -day care and upbringing of their four children. With four children, Kim's world revolves around their happiness and well-being. North, Saint, Chicago, and Psalm are the names of her beloved kids, each with their own distinct personalities and needs. She shares snippets of their daily lives, painting a vivid picture of the chaos and joy that comes with raising four young children. When asked about her thoughts on parenting, Kim reflects on the stark contrast between her initial vision and the reality of being a parent. She acknowledges that the days can feel never-ending, while the years pass by in the blink of an eye. In those early stages, when the chaos of caring for babies consumes her life, Kim finds solace in the beautiful madness that comes with being a mother. Her mornings are a whirlwind of activity, as she tends to the needs of each of her children. From styling her daughter's hair just right to helping her son put on his shoes, Kim navigates the constant demands of her little ones. It's a wild experience, she admits, but one that she embraces wholeheartedly. To prepare herself for the daily two-hour madness, she prioritizes her morning workout, knowing that physical and mental strength are crucial in this challenging role. Above all else, parenting has been a journey of self-discovery for Kim. The role of a parent is one that can never truly be prepared for, she explains, as each day brings new lessons and new trials. Kim's role as a single parent is not without its difficulties. In the podcast, she acknowledges the moments of frustration and exhaustion that often bring her to tears. She shares, There are nights I cried myself to sleep. Like, what just happened? You know, with all the moods and personalities, and sometimes they're fighting, and there's no one there. The absence of a partner means that Kim must take on both the role of nurturer and disciplinarian. She humorously refers to herself as good cop and bad cop, while acknowledging the difficulties of being the sole authority figure in her children's lives. Kim admits that being a little firmer is something she's actively working on. It's a delicate balance of providing love and support while also setting boundaries. As a single mom, Kim faces the constant juggling act of managing her own career and personal life alongside her children's needs. Nights filled with big school projects, tears, and demands makes for an exhausting routine. She shares a glimpse of a typical evening where her kids resist bedtime and plead for her attention. I'm locked in a room with kids banging outside of the door because they want me to put them to bed. And I'm like, I can't cut myself in four pieces, Kim reveals with a touch of humor. Kim describes the moments when she feels like running away or hiding, longing for a night of peace and solitude. However, she quickly dismisses those thoughts, knowing that she cannot divide herself into multiple pieces. Instead, she makes schedules and attempts to manage the chaos. But even then, her kids often resist and express their impatience. The podcast interview also reveals Kim's admiration for her own mother and her ability to navigate the challenges of a large family. Seeing her mother's strength and the love shared between her siblings inspires Kim to create a similar dynamic for her own children. She fondly remembers her mom's house during Easter, with a table set for all of her kids and grandkids, a testament to the enduring bond of family. Kim recognizes that parenting is a lifelong commitment and that relationships she builds with her children will be a source of love and support for years to come. As her children grow, their demands and needs change. She marvels at how her mother managed to raise her and her siblings, and she finds herself seeking her mom's guidance and support, even in her 40s. The loving connection she shares with her mother have inspired her to desire the same with her own children. Despite these challenges, Kim finds solace in the knowledge that she's building a strong foundation for her children. She expresses her excitement for the teenage phase, reminiscing about her own relationship with her parents during that time. Kim says, 
I see the relationship I have with my mom, and I knew the relationship I had with my dad, and how comfortable we were talking to them about all of our problems, and all of our friend stuff, and all the drama, and all that high school stuff. She longs to create a similar bond with her children, where they can openly share their experiences and seek guidance when needed. The podcast conversation touches on the common realization that children often have when they become adults, acknowledging that their parents were right all along. Kim humorously mentions the transition from adoring her mom as a young child to feeling too cool for her as a teenager. But she's made a pact with herself and her children, vowing that they will always have a close bond. She playfully insists that they will live with her even in their 20s and 30s, a humorous contract that highlights her deep love and desire for a lasting connection with her kids. Kim understands that not all parents have the same resources or support system as she does. She empathizes with her friends and others who may face parenting challenges on their own. With her own children, she's committed to being open and honest, answering any questions that they may have and providing guidance when the time is right. I'll talk to my kids about anything that they want to ask me about. I'm so open and honest with my kids. That's the only way to be. From the moment they were born, North, Saint, Chicago, and Psalm have been thrust into the world of cameras, flashing lights, and public scrutiny. Their names have become synonymous with the Kardashian-Jenner brand, and their every move is captured by paparazzi lenses. Privacy becomes a luxury that Kim's children must navigate with care. As they mature, they witness firsthand the constant attention and invasion of their family's personal space. However, Kim is committed to shielding them from the excessive exposure as much as possible. In the podcast interview, she reveals that her daughter, North, is becoming increasingly vocal, asserting her desire for privacy. While the Kardashian name brings with it endless opportunities and privileges, it also exposes the children to heightened expectations and intense public scrutiny. Their actions and appearances are often dissected by the media and the public. Every milestone, every fashion choice, and every family outing becomes a subject of interest and discussion. The conversation takes a turn as Kim's activism and passion for justice reform are brought into focus. She shares her motivation to make a difference in the world, not just for her family, but for others who deserve their freedom. Kim's journey as a parent has expanded her perspective on love and compassion, prompting her to use her platform and pursue a legal career to advocate for change. While Kim may have received sympathy from some fans for her parenting struggles, many people have doubts about the authenticity of Kim Kardashian's struggles as a single mom, despite her admission of crying herself to sleep. As a privileged celebrity, Kim has access to abundant resources, including staff and assistants, which can make it hard for others to relate to her experiences. Reacting to her proclaimed parenting challenges, fans on social media raised questions about the genuineness of her emotional turmoil because Kim can afford to hire nannies, personal assistants, and other helpers. They wonder how she can truly understand the daily challenges faced by single parents who don't have the same level of support. One fan wrote, it's tough to fully empathize with Kim Kardashian's parenting struggles when she's got a whole team of staff taking care of everything. Shedding a few tears doesn't quite hit home when most single parents don't have that kind of help. Another fan also dismissed her struggles, writing, Genuine or not, her struggles come with a cushion of privilege. Additionally, skeptics point out that Kim's tears and moments of despair may be overshadowed by her glamorous lifestyle. The extravagant vacations, designer clothes, and luxurious surroundings seem far removed from the reality of most single parents. Some even suggest that Kim might be using her portrayal of parenting struggles as a way to gain sympathy and make herself more relatable without acknowledging the significant differences in resources and opportunities. Now, as we conclude this discussion on Kim Kardashian's parenting challenges, we invite you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. What are your opinions on her struggles as a single mom? Do you find it relatable, or do you think her privileged position changes the narrative? We look forward to hearing your insights on this topic. Thank you for joining us, and make sure to check out our other videos on this channel to learn about the latest celebrity news, gossip, and controversies.